Hey what is up guys, Tava here, and let's say that you have a video clip of someone talking like I am right now, and you want to add some music behind that video clip to add it, but that music has lyrics in it, and the lyrics from the music are taken away from what the person is saying, as you can kind of hear right now. So let's remove the lyrics from that music, and just keep the instrumental part. But now let's say that we want to cut to a b-roll sequence, and we want to have those lyrics back in the music, so let's add them back really quickly. Now let's say we're done with that b-roll segment and we want those lyrics gone so we just have the instrumental music behind me. And anyway, this was just a long hypothetical explanation to what I'm going to be talking about today which are audio stems, what they are, and how to use them to enhance your videos. Okay, so if you've ever used a royalty-free music site like Epidemic Sound, Musicbed, Artlist, something like that, you've probably seen the option to download audio stems before. And if you don't know what it is, it seems like an option that you're never going to use and you just ignore it, which I've personally done a lot of the time. But if you know how to use it, it's actually a very valuable tool that I'm going to be showing you how to utilize here. So for this example, I'm going to be using Epidemic Sound because that's the subscription I have for my music library, but it'll probably work pretty similarly in different music sites. So just for example, the song I'm going to be using is called Red Guitar Purple Haze, and if you play the song like any song inside of Epidemic Sound with lyrics, as you can see with the little vocal thing here, if you pause it here, what you can see is the regular waveform here at the bottom, but if you go over to the stems here, you can basically switch between different stems to hear what they sound like. So if we click on melody, you can hear that it's just the vocal part of the song. If we go over here and click on instruments, it's the instrumental part. It's pretty self-explanatory, but that's basically what it does. But when you go over to the right here and click on download, what it's going to give you the option to do is either download the full mix, which is the complete song, all the pieces mixed together as they should be, or download all stems, which you're going to want to do because it allows you to use different stems in different places and mix the sound yourself. So if you just download all stems, it'll begin downloading. And once your stems are downloaded, it's going to show in a little zip file here. You just have to double click to open it and it's going to create a folder. And if you open the folder, you can see all the different stems. So it has the bass, drums, instruments, melody, and then the total mix that you can download individually or in this package. So what we're going to do is take these four different stems, put them together, and then use them to mix in and out of vocal parts of the video as well as the song. So let's get started. Alright, so just for example here I have some video sample clips inside of Final Cut Pro and as you can see the first bit is with me talking in front of the camera, so I obviously don't want lyrics in the music here, but then it cuts to some b-roll clips and we do want lyrics for this part. So if we go to Finder where we store these clips, what we can do is drag each one in individually place them on top of each other, and then you can really get started making it as good as you want. So now as you can see, I have all the different stems in place. It goes melody, instruments, drums, and bass. And as you can see, this helps you to visualize the music a lot better as well, because you can see the lyrics don't start until this point. You can see where the lyrics come in and out of the song, as well as the instruments, bass, and drums. If we look at how this is laid out right now, you can see that the melody part of the song goes over the part where I'm talking, so there's going to be lyrics interfering with what I'm trying to say, which is going to make it hard to understand. So the super easy thing you have to do is just drag the melody part back across from that part where the person is speaking, fade it out using this little dropper thing right here, and now basically it's only going to be instrumental music over the part where I'm talking, but then it's going to fade in right as the b-roll part starts, to add that nice lyrical aspect. The other really great thing about having all your stems separate is the ability to adjust the volume on the different aspects of the song. So if you want your instruments to be a little bit louder, you can increase that volume there. If you want the drums to be louder or the bass to be quieter, whatever you want it to specifically be, it's really easy to adjust. Whereas with a regular full song track, it would be very hard to do these things. So for example here where I'm talking, it's a bit too loud on the instrumental side. So if I reduce that sound down to like, negative 15 decibels, you can hear that this part's quieter, and then as it comes in, the musical track is still at negative 8.7 decibels. So the lyrics come in much louder and clearer, so you can actually understand the lyrics, because in some songs, you can't really hear it because it's faded into the other instrumental music, so this gives you a lot of flexibility to adjust the volume as you want. Looking directly over it with our tent here, and the Pacific Ocean there, just an absolutely gorgeous location. You just ride, pull you up to out of space? And just for one more little example of this idea, I'm going to drag another audio clip in that has me talking. It doesn't make sense in the context of this video whatsoever, but now it has this clip of me talking, but the melody track is playing underneath me, so you won't really be able to understand me. So what I'm going to do is just click B for Blade, trim this bit of the song here, and then fade out the audio that has the melody part or the lyrical part. So when it comes back to me talking, it's just the instrumental part of the song, so you can actually understand what I'm saying. Thanks. 
the video clip of someone talking like I am right now, and you want to add some video clip of someone talking like I am right now. But anyway, those are just the basic principles of this idea. You can apply it to a lot of different situations with fading in and out music, fading in and out different stems in the music, and just getting really creative with what you use this music for. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because it helps me out a lot, and I will see you all next time.